Okay, so Leos, what do Leos need to know about their career at this time? Um, we've got the Magician in reverse, the uh, Eight of Swords in reverse, and the King of Wands. So um, basically any fears that you've had in regards to starting something new or um, something that you've recently started, maybe you're like, oh boy, I'm not sure that that was um, the right thing to do. And this could be a project. This could be an entirely new um, path. It could be going to school, anything along those lines. Um, be excited about it. Find a way to get excited and passionate about it again, because um, these things that you've started, that you've embarked upon are on the right track. Like things are looking really good for you. Um, a lot of blessings with that, a lot of creativity to come. Um, you want to be able to find your passion and stuff with that again because there's reason to, like abundance is coming. So that's really good. And it doesn't necessarily mean financial abundance, just like a, you'll be like abundantly happy if you can figure that out. So um, good. In regards to money, which is sometimes tied to career and sometimes isn't, what do we have for Leos? February 12th through March 14th. Um, we've got the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Cups in reverse, and the Moon card. So actually, um, this isn't unlike what I've seen for other signs this month. Um, you might be a little bit... Uh, kind of sad or worried, not necessarily worried, but like things are not just, they're just not going the best in regards to finances right now. Um, specifically like in regards to like finances surrounding like your home environment. So like maybe paying um, for daycare or paying your electricity, your internet, maybe your bills are higher this month than you thought. Um, but what the issue is, is that there's people there who want to help you, but you're not like really taking the help or maybe um, you're not even seeking it or maybe there's like different programs like where I live it's really cold in the winter and I know that through the energy company you can have your gas bills somehow I don't know if they're reduced or just like they take like the winter that's like really really expensive and kind of pace it out over the summer those kind of programs I don't look into it I totally should um, I'm a Leo and so this makes total sense to me um, but especially like a lot of you are having a hard time receiving help from those who like truly love you and care about you. Like, you know, maybe someone says, hey, I want to give you this money to help you out with this, but you just feel uncomfortable about it. Um, you might want to be more open to that. If you are more open to it, um, it will help you be more stable in what you need to achieve. Um, and actually it helps bring you closer because other people feel really good about themselves when they help you and you allow them to do so. Um, pay attention to your dreams though, like you might get really good ideas or like get specific warnings in your dreams about like what to do with your money um, during this month. In regards to health, what's going on for Leos with their health? Whoa! This one just flew right out of the deck. We have the Emperor and then we also have the Devil in Reverse. The Three of uh, Swords in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, and the King of Pentacles. So your health is going awesome. And this is like emotional more than physical, but it's probably both. Like you're feeling really good. Um, you're no longer tied to negative situations and um, people as much as you were before. Like any heartbreak that you've experienced that was like really causing you stress and causing you to um, feel really bad and icky and like was actually affecting your physical and or mental and emotional health is done now. So whether you stayed in a relationship hoping someone would get better change or the situation would get better change or whether you left that, either way at this point wherever you are, um, things are looking better for you. Um, you might not... It's like some of you are less connected to spirit and prayer than you had been recently. And maybe it's because those hardships are over because things are better because we reach out for those sort of things when we're feeling really low. Um, so you probably want to uh, just consider that and get back on that track because that's how you got there here to this place of like um, being healthy, like emotionally and physically. But you're definitely like kind of on the top of your game, like 
emotionally and um I don't know physically for a lot of you this is probably more for um like the emotional side but physically too not too bad everything's looking good so that's great um in regards to love the way that I want to do this is um just do like a general portion because you know it's um Valentine's Day month or week even actually um so just generally for love and then we'll do singles and couples um so just generally for love what do leos need to know um we've got the justice card and then we have the six of wands so this is really really wonderful in regards to love like um things are going to be more balanced things are going to seem more fair if you were always a giver giving 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 to your partner and not really getting back that's starting to turn around now you're starting to feel that um there's victory like the things that you wanted the things that you wish were are finally yours are finally happening happening like a lot of you are happy um with where you are whether you're single or coupled so let's talk about those of you who are single for february um 12th through march 14th what are the messages for our leo friends We've got the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Wands, lots of wands, the Three of Pentacles in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune. So again, um, good cards here. So uh, for those of you who are thinking, you know, like, hey, I'm being single, I'm going out, and I'm having fun, and maybe you're like worried about what others think about you, who cares? Who cares? Defend it or don't, doesn't matter because like right now is a time for fun and excitement and new adventures. Um, right now is a time where you want to be just a tinge superstitious about what's going on. But um, generally it's a good time to be happy and like excited and like try new things and be adventurous. Um, it's one of those times where like maybe being too committed to someone new isn't a great idea but it's kind of one of those times also where like anything could happen so keep your mind open um keep your like don't be too set on like what kind of a person you want or what kind of a thing you want because what will come to you will be something better than what you imagined in the first place so that's really great news um and that's like only if you even want someone to come to you because right now you should be having a great time either way like if you want to stay single stay single I mean, that's great. Um, for those of you who are coupled February 12th through uh, March 14th, what is it that you need to know in regards to love? We have um, the Nine of Wands in reverse, the Five of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So for those of you who are coupled, it's a little bit different energy here. Um, things are a lot better, like you're not fighting as much, like um, you're definitely getting along a lot better. Um, there's definitely more like uh, shows of affection, like in regards to like money type of things and stability. It's more like situations like moving in with each other, helping each other out financially, um, like gift giving and stuff this month more than it had been in the recent past. But then for some of you, it's kind of like um, too late. Like you've already been angry at your partner for something and you're like, this is fine, but I'm keeping my options open. Like I'm staying with you, but like I'm going to see how much I get out of this and see if that changes how I feel. So that's unfortunate. Um, but for those of you um, who that isn't exactly the case, uh, what is it that you need to know within your couple's relationship? You know what? I don't even feel like there's anything to say about this. This is like saying don't go. Like don't run away. Like don't um, start thinking about someone new. And I think that that's a lot because relationships have high points and low points, points of excitement, and then points of dull boredom. Um, you might just be in one of those slumps right now, but you're getting along, and that's great. Like, your communication is good. You're not fighting. Like, a lot of you have really been fighting with your partner the last little while here, and you're not now. So, like, just because you're not fighting doesn't mean that um, it's boring, <laughs> okay? Um, but for those of you who um, are coupled and you're more like appreciative of the recent communication change and like how you're getting along, what is it that you need to know? Like how do you continue to maintain that? 
Um, compliments for sure. Definitely show the other person that they're sexy to you, that you appreciate them, that they're smart, you know, like tell them all the wonderful things that you think about them. Okay. Um, moving on now to um, our week by week breakdown. I'm just going to shuffle these up a little bit more. So we're going to start with the week of February uh, 12th through the 19th. What is it that our Leo friends need to know February 12th through the 19th? Let's see. February 12th. Whoa, this guy just jumped right out. King of Pentacles. We wonder what he wants to tell you. With the Page of Swords, the Magician in Reverse, a couple cards that we've seen already, the Star, and the Ten of Pentacles. So we're starting and ending with Pentacles in this week. Um... This is a really great week for you. You're going to be feeling like really, really good about a lot of things. Like even though you may have stressors right now, you're just kind of feeling like on top of your throne, like everything's in control. Like um, you're not having to think too hard this week. You don't have a lot of like new things that you need to start or contemplate that think too hard about. Um, at the end of the week, you're still going to be feeling that way. You're still going to be feeling like everything's um, more in control than it has been. And maybe it's not even that things are particularly in control, but you're contented. So that's wonderful. So um, try to just focus on the positives. This week, um, the page of wands in reverse showed up. So it's like this week is not a good week to really start thinking about how to make changes. Just enjoy it. And I'm a little bit worried though, as I say that, that maybe that means for um, the rest of the month that challenges are coming. If you're so encouraged, to just sit pretty in that week. But I guess we'll find out. So February 20th through the 27th, what is it that Leos need to know? We've got uh, the Eight of Swords again in reverse. We have again the High Priestess in reverse, the Temperance card in reverse, and then again that Four of Pentacles. So a lot of repeat cards with one more repeat card here, the Ten of Cups in reverse. So um, whatever has been like hurting you, bothering you um, in the recent months, not so much thinking about it, but again, this week is probably the week where you're really starting to feel um, disconnected from spirit, from however it is that you connect with that, whether that's like being outside, yoga, uh, watching tarot card readings, um, prayer, meditation, that sort of thing. Um, but the reason why is because things are a little bit more imbalanced than they have been. Um, but as they start to seem to fall out of balance, and particularly in regards to money and your home life, you're going to want to connect back because that will help you. If you find a way to connect back, um, the Wheel of Fortune card is what pops up here, and that means that your luck will change, that things will turn around. If you decide to just continually um, neglect that area of your life, your world is turned upside down. It's funny because these cards um, look very similar, right? They're both round with the different aspects astrologically on the sides. So I would definitely say this is a week for you to um, meditate, do yoga, um, read a book, watch your tarot card, read, have your tarot cards read. Um, that's going to give you the best outcome. That's your advice for that week. So then um, February 28th through March 6th, what is it that you need to know, Leos? We have the Queen of Wands. Whoa. The death card in reverse. Let's pull one more here. And we've got the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Lover's card. So when you're starting um, out that week there, the 28th through the 6th, you're going to be feeling pretty good. Um, you're like a little bit superstitious. You're like, oh man, when is shit going to hit the fan? Well, it's going to hit the fan this week, but it's not going to be as big of a deal as it has been in the past. And um, actually, what's going to happen is... Um, you're going to feel a little bit wounded, but your anxiety is going to be worse than the actual pain. Like you're going to be like ruminating and you're not going to be as like emotionally hurt as you are going to be just kind of like um, on edge. Like you're superstitious, like you're not really believing things, like you're thinking that people are lying to you and all of that. And for a lot of you, this is going to be in regards to relationships. Um 
But how do you get through it? How do you change that mindset? Teamwork by working together with your partner. So you're going to want to um, make sure that you're having constructive conversations about these things. And I would actually try to cut the emotions out of it based upon these cards. You're going to want to talk about things as they are. Um, typically, you know, like what a psychologist would say was would to be would be to say things like I feel this way. Um, this week, specifically, whatever this issue that comes up for you is, you're just going to want to do it real logically. Like here are the facts. How do we solve this problem? Okay, so that's your guidance. Um, moving on to March 7th through the 14th, what are the messages here? We've got the Knight of Swords and then the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Fool, and the Strength card. So um, maybe in the beginning of the week, you have this thought and you just kind of like, Put it out there, you're communicating, you're taking steps, you're being assertive, but as a result, it's distracting you from working on other things, like on things that you like to do, like because you're kind of like tied up in um, this communication. And this communication is based upon um, not really having all of the information that you need. So you're kind of like seeking out the truth in something and it's distracting you from getting done the things that you need to be to to do. But if you decide to take a leap of faith and just trust the other person or the other people involved in this, it's going to be challenging. You're going to have to be strong about that. But the result is that um, we've got the three of pentacles here, knight of pentacles, and then the three of cups. The result is that uh, things kind of balance out. You kind of avoid a catastrophe and it actually brings greater stability and not even just stability. And like for a lot of you, this is going to be in regards to work, but for a small percentage, this is going to be um, in regards to like the household, but it's going to bring together like closer bonds. So whatever kind of an issue this is in regarding to, I feel like for a lot of you, this is like a workplace issue where you're like, wait a minute, what's really going on here? Um, and then like it kind of like the social aspect kind of detracts you from the things that you wanted to get done. But as you discover that, like all of a sudden communication gets better. Everybody starts um, working towards a common goal, like more money is to come in, like great ideas. And then but like this added side bonus is that because of these communications and having to work together, everybody becomes like more bonded and close. And then there's like things to celebrate. So Really good news for that. Um, beginning of the week, a little bit tough, but the end of the week, about March 13th, 14th, really, really good. You'll be really, really happy and satisfied. So um, I hope that this is helpful for some of you. For Actually, I hope it's helpful for all of you. <laughs>